Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. We're fresh off the Disney Dream cruise and I was a little sad because it's been about five hours I wasn't uh, at a Disney park or a Disney ship. So guess what? We're at Epcot. We're going to Space 220 because today is Roberta's birthday. Hey Roberta, happy birthday. The fun never ends on Medlin World. Let's go check it out. We just tried to stop here at the uh, guest relations, of course. If you're not familiar with Disney parks, Disney has a way of celebrating, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you want by giving buttons out. And today's Roberta's birthday, so she wanted to stop in and get a birthday button. You'll notice many people wearing these um, in the parks when you come. If you've never been, you will see tons of pins first visit birthday anniversary whatever it is you know Celebration. celebrations any kind of celebration you can get a pin but they were out i've never heard that ever happen before they're out on the guest service. at guest service so we have to go to another location to get the birthday pin so that's something that uh, must be a very popular birthday month to run out of the birthday pins so anyway we're on our way to space 220 which is located over by um mission to mars is that correct roberta so we're looking forward to checking it out we're going to show you what it looks like inside we'll show you what we're going to get to eat and then we'll give you a full review of the restaurant it is actually located near mission space which, if you can see right over that wall, that's where Mission Space is. So we're on our way over, and as soon as we get there, we'll let you know. So in vlog time, that'll be in about two seconds. Here we are, everybody. I just want to show you exactly where Space 220 Restaurant is, if you take a look, right? Mission Space is right here on the left side, okay? Jake, come on over. Let's go look at the menu. Jake and I are going to look at the menu. Roberta's getting her birthday pin. So, Mission Space here. And then, here is the new restaurant. Let's take a look at the menu when we get a chance here. So, as you guys can see, the lunch is $55 per person. We're here for dinner which is 79 per person. It's a little more expensive for dinner, but it is Roberta's birthday, so we're celebrating that. And I'll just let you guys read read over that. So, you get to pick an appetizer. Oh, okay, so select one of each, appetizer and an entree. So there's your lunch. You pick an appetizer and an entree, and for dinner, one each is an appetizer, entree, and dessert. So I think that's a pretty, but looks like actually they have more selections. Okay. So it looks like it's two actually, two separate menus, right? Pretty cool. Is that, okay, so seared tuna, let's see. And I don't see the seared tuna. And then the kids, 29 per person. So, it's two different menus. You have a lunch menu, and you have the dinner menu. We're gonna go in. Yeah. Looks like they got a standby queue even, they're waiting on. So you can do a standby if you wanna try to eat. So here's where you walk in. Here's where you check in for your reservation. Space 220. And we're here. So we just talked to Matt and he checked us in for a reservation. So that that queue you saw on the right side is a standby queue, he told me, uh, for non-reservation -re guests. And right now it's running 90 minutes. So you have to wait 90 minutes. But I want to show you guys, if, obviously 90 minutes if you don't have a reservation. But check this out. I'm going to have to take the Ray-Bans off for this. We're entering now. we got to put our masks on. When you 
come in, you've got a cool seating area here where you can sit and wait for your table to get called. I like the nice lights around, yeah. And just some cool pictures of space. Space station over there. Nice cool picture of the space station. And look, looks like that's where we're gonna go in. Wow, pretty neat. Let's see what's behind this wall. And that's just another hallway. And let's see what Roberta's got something here. What's this? Oh, so you get a boarding pass when you check in for your reservation. That's really neat. So they must call this number here, Roberta, is what they do? I don't know. Good question. Yeah, so you got your numbers here that they're probably going to call. And then you get to go in. This is your boarding pass. So awesome. Well, as soon as we get inside, I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like we're going in. It's a little dark in here. Let's hope that our camera's going to work all right. Oh, this is cool. Go. Gravity generator. Go. Epcot station. This is Centauri Control. Check this for Centauri Control. Or for work group. Go for departure. Sorry. Stand for departure. Roger Centauri. Standing by. Welcome aboard the Stellarator. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. And by a few moments, you mean 60 seconds. <laughs> SV-1, you are clear. <laughs> Pretty neat experience so far. Elevator, the latest in space elevator design and technology. Today, you'll have a spectacular view of Florida and the eastern seaboard. Enjoy the ride. I'll be back in a bit with arrival information. Alright. And it's cool because it vibrates as you're going up. So you get that feel. Artificial gravity is holding us down. Exactly. All right, and now we're over in this. And you'll notice when you look at the area, we are technically. Wow, look at this, guys! Awesome. Man. Thank you, sir. To your left, you're gonna be finding our lovely grow zone. Wow, look at this, guys. We grow everything hydroponically, just meaning without soil, so that our astronauts don't have to depend on Earth and they can further explore space. And it's also going to be for you guys, which you're going to be finding in your lovely man tonight. So far, so good. It, it, this is really Bye, I'm a lovely one. If we can please exit. Wow, this is cool so far. I'm telling you, I'm liking the experience here, man. Welcome. All right, you can see here we have our wine room. The wine room That was the wine room. Look at this. It's amazing. We got a bar over here to the right side. There's Earth, guys. It's a little, probably a little smaller than I expected, but let's see how it goes. Pretty neat inside. We're loving it. We're loving it so far. Let's see. Hopefully, we get a seat right against the window. Awesome. Thank you, Robert. Right thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course. Awesome. And then, see our codes to your menu. Okay. Check out Earth. What? And you can kind of like, if you bend back, you can kind of see it right around. 
Wow, so what do you guys think, man? Oh, that's cool, Check huh? it out, even in behind the bar there. I think those might be so, mirrors. I don't even know. I, I asked her, she said, if you do not have a reservation. Wow. If you're waiting, if you don't have a reservation, it's the bar or the lounge. Oh, so even if you don't have a re Oh, okay, so the queue, let, let's, uh, okay, let me clarify something then. Roberta just gave me a lot of good information. How are you? The queue outside is for when you don't have a reservation, but it's either the lounge or the bar. So you, you either eat at the lounge or the bar. Anything alcohol or extra besides those three choices would be an upcharge. Just for your information. But let's take a look at her. Let's just look at the cool lights. All right? Isn't it neat? I think, you know, I don't know how the food's going to taste, but it's pretty cool. The atmosphere in here, the lighting. Just the experience of coming in, as you guys saw, was really neat for a dining experience. I really, really like it. And I just wanted to let you know that the, the standby queue without reservations, they have a separate menu, okay? And I just found it. It's called Light Bites. That's the lounge menu. So some different um, choices for food. And then, of course, you know, they have all the cocktails that you can get anyway. So yeah, if you look at the menu, it kind of shows you right here. See that lounge menu. And when you do hit the, the let's say the dinner, watch on the side, reservations. So to order the dinner or the lunch, you have to have the reservations. And then without the reservation, standby queue, again, lounge menu. So it looks like more like appetizers. Still pretty cool though, if you want to come in and experience it without a reservation and might be a little bit cheaper depending on what kind of beverages you want and i'm trying to see let's let's try to pay attention and see hey roberta and jake let's see if this is actually rotating the earth no because it's like that okay we're tethered to the earth that's right roberta thank you so the earth is not going to rotate the whole oh look at this is that an astronaut out there Check them out. So a little interaction over here in space 220. And you know, that's Roberta just brought up a good point because we just got back from the cruise, right? It's like a celebration birthday dinner, right? For Roberta, we had this reservation made for a while. And G, our server, we were just saying how awesome he is, right? Yeah. Roberta, what do you think of G? Just like like the service that we got on, on a ship, on a train. Yeah. It's like amazing. Yeah. He's really been just like excellent, you know, and that's the thing is when you get off at Disney Cruise you start to wonder, right? Like, I'm going back to the parks. Let's yeah. compare the service. Let's see how it is in. She's been awesome. Um, but again, if you have not seen our vlogs about the Disney Dream, we will drop some links in this video description. Go back and look at those. Today's Roberta's birthday, which is October 18th. You're probably not watching this till almost November because of so many vlogs from the Disney Dream. So, it'll be a little past her birthday, but happy birthday to Roberta, my awesome, beautiful wife. And we're also happy to be here. We celebrate every day, right, Jake? Jake, we yeah. celebrate every day. Yeah. You got one life, live it. Jake got lemonade and a cup. You can get an upcharge for three dollars. You get this cool cup. Hey, this would be a cool picture. Last off. But yes. So for an extra three dollars, you can get this really neat cup. Why not? Pretty neat. So here's what I got. I got the starry calamari. Look at that. A couple nice sauces there. What a lemon. Mmm, delicious. Jake's food already got here. He got the steak and the fries on the kids' menu. Now, guys, listen. This is $29 for a kid, correct, Roberta? Yeah. Kids. Is it $29 or $19? It's 29 29 So it's not cheap to eat here. That's what we're kind of debating now. And, and Roberta got, look at her appetizer. Does it not look good, man? Wow. It's called the Big Bang Burrata. It's got mozzarella. Look at that. Look at that mozzarella, guys. Pull that over there. Mozzarella, artichoke hearts, sunflower seeds. Wow. 
and some nice sauce. That looks delicious. So that's the debate we're having. Is it worth the price? I'll tell you what, the experience of eating in here is definitely awesome. So we're gonna do two ways to review this dinner tonight. We're gonna review the experience and the food kind of together, and then we're gonna do the price a little bit separately to see what we can come up with and give you our best recommendations. Right here from Meddling World, and please guys, like and subscribe to Meddling World if you enjoy our vlogs. We do vlogs at least three times a week and plenty more to come. I particularly care for this sauce a little better than that one. And Roberta, how's yours? How's yours? Oh, it's good. Roberta just loves hers, so everything's good. So far, so good. Jake, how's the steak? He's chowing it. How's the steak good? He's got a big thumbs up. It's good. Now for the main entree, guys, I got the braised short rib. Comes with carrots, some green beans, and potatoes in that nice sauce. So Roberta got the filet on a little bit of green beans there. And it looks potato. like it comes with potato. Is that a potato? Yeah. Like a fried type potato? Wow, that looks really, really good, Roberta. Everybody, I need to update you. I think I said these were potatoes. They're actually like cheesy grits and they are good. You can see I'm starting to eat this and it has been really good. The carrots, everything's nice, the vegetables. Roberta, are you enjoying yours for your birthday? And Roberta's, she's chowing and she is enjoying her filet. Jake is ready for his chocolate update. And you know what I'm gonna say? It's out of this world, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got our desserts by Matthew here, brought us our dessert. Matthew, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And check mine out. Mine is a chocolate cheesecake. Wow, it looks like, it does look like a ship, right? It looks like it's ready to fly, man. Very cool themed desserts here, huh? And Roberta, look at Roberta's. What did you get, Roberta? Lemon, lemon, uh, look, look at, Roberta, can you spin that slowly? Look, it, it looks like some planets around, right, with the blueberry, maybe yeah, some, cool. some, some moons, and then look at the rings. It's cool. Oh, man, it looks like a planet in the unlike cloud. Guys, it's like a art. It's like art, the food, man. The desserts are awesome. All right, guys. I got a nice bite. Let's see how it is. Mm. It's nice and light, and I like these little crunchies. You can do that. Um, you guys got to see what Jake's done to Roberta's. Planet. How is it, guys? It's just, good. It's good. good. You just have the chocolate. Lady, happy birthday for you. I have another copy. Birthday. Are oh, you kidding? Yes. Wow. And Roberta got a special birthday cupcake from our awesome waiters tonight, Matthew and G. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very yep. much. Thank you. I'll tell you one thing about. Happy birthday to you again, Roberta. The most amazing birthday weekend and day. I cannot even believe the blessings that we have in our life. We thank everybody for watching at the world. We're not done yet, don't worry, we're not leaving. Guys, one thing I will say is the customer service is excellent in here. I gotta go ahead and eat my cheesecake. So anyway, our desserts were excellent and I wanted to let you know about annual pass holder discount for Space 220. They do accept the annual pass holder discount at a 10% discount. So originally with tax, it was 208. They did the discount, re you know, recalculated everything. It came to what, Roberta? And it came to 187, including the tax. And remember, it's $79 for the dinner, $29 for the kids dinner 
and that does not include any of the drinks, even soft drinks, Coca-Cola products. That's what we got, just some, some sodas and lemonades. Those were $4.95 each. And of course, you can get the refills with them, which G did for us without even asking. G was our main server tonight, along with Matthew, who did bring out the desserts. Both of these gentlemen were excellent. Excellent service here at Space 220. Now, for the price, what do you guys, what do you think, Roberta? Do you think it's worth 187 with that discount in taxes? What do you think, Roberta? Price-wise, um, it's a cool experience. The food is amazing, especially coming back from the cruise. Let me compare yeah. the service and the food because it's the best. That's it a is great awesome. point. Uh, I think it's a little bit much in terms of price. I think it's a yeah. pricey. It's a one that's time three of us. That's right. two adults and one child. It's a one-time experience, I would say. It's a one-time experience. Uh, coming back here often with this price, probably not. I agree 100%, Roberta. I think if you're coming here for a vacation and you do want a really cool dining experience, remember the word experience. I'm really trying to... I think during this vlog, I really showed you the experience, right? Look, as we're talking, right? And let me tell you something. You always know when something's going on in space because everybody's going, look, 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 look. So you just look. But I definitely agree with Roberta. I think for the price, it's a little much. It's pretty expensive. Um, $79 for, you know, each adult. It's quite a bit of money. We did though. Now let's do our review of just the food and the. Without the price. I mean, you guys it. saw the vlog, right? It's excellent. Yeah. Let's exclude the price. Let's just say you want to come in here and have a good meal, oh, yeah. experience. Look at all of this. Ah, it's awesome. The dining experience is great. I think the price is a little high. Probably most people are right. Who wants to pay a lot of money to eat? Nobody, right? But overall, I definitely think it's worth it if you come in here for a vacation and you want a really cool dining experience, especially for a family of three like us. We would probably do something like this if we were traveling for sure. Um, so, a special occasions, Roberta's birthday. So, we're glad we came. Probably be a while till we come back just because of that high price, maybe my birthday, or as Roberta said, a special occasion. Yes. Other than that, you know, I'm not going to quite wrap up yet because I do want to kind of show you guys how we exit out so you'll get the full experience. And then we'll wrap this vlog out. Uh, we'll wrap up the vlog once we get outside. Yeah. All right, guys? Dinner's over. I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough as we're leaving. Roberta and Jake, I'm going to meet you guys right there at the exit, all right? Yeah. So I just want to show you guys as we're leaving. Earth. Really cool. Taking a picture there, so I'm gonna keep walking. Just so you can see over there where the bar is. Really awesome outside right here. Astronauts. Like I said, the dining experience is really awesome. Um, price was a bit high. And then a nice ramp to walk up for accessibility. My friends who need accessibility, this is really nice. So you can actually go down and get right there in the front. So you can really check that out. And then remember I was telling you about the queue. You can come in. I guess they would consider this the lounge up here, right? So you can sit up here, sit at the bar. It's a nice mirror with the bar so you can reflect in. And here's kind of what it looks like up here. And now we're on our way out. Leaving space 220. Back through the wine cellar. And now we need to go back to Earth. We need to head back to Earth. We're heading in. And we're going We're going right back down to Earth now, guys. So we're going to come right over here. I'm going to show you guys us uh, uh, descending back to earth here we go 
Remember, like and subscribe, Meddling World, on YouTube for all the great adventures. And here we go. All right, guys, make sure everyone hits the all the viewing points. And we'll be good to go. Hi, Princess. <laughs> Hi, Princess. SV1, you're clear for departure. Initiate descent in three, two, one. If you want to go, you beautiful floor. I feel part of the maze. Your journey back to Icon will be a smooth and quick one tonight. So enjoy the ride. I love how she casually says it to me a little quick trip when we're going 14,000 miles an hour. Like, hey, that ain't no big deal. Dakota, you have a great night. Thank you. You too. Excellent, excellent cast member service here at Space 220. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the awesome review of Space 220 tonight for dinner. And before we leave, a big shout out to an awesome family we met from, I believe they said Columbus, Ohio. I hope I remembered that and got it right. And they subscribed to Meddling World. We thank you very much for your support. And please, everybody else, like and subscribe to Meddling World. We appreciate that. And last but not least, see ya!